Hello guys and welcome to the video. This is part four of the Necromancer series update videos. For those who don't know, the PTR got updated a few days ago and there's a lot of changes now to the sets. Brand new legendaries have come into the game as well. Absolutely load. I did a previous video that shows all the new legendaries which look absolutely amazing. Some of the effects and the stats are just holy shit. But um... Yeah, yeah, let's go through new patch notes, guys. A few things here that uh, I haven't gone through yet. Okay, guys, so Bone Armor, uh, Reap of Anguish, is now called the Harvest of Anguish, and it now deals cold damage instead of physical. There was a lot of physical runes on the Necromancer, so it's nice that a Blizzard are, you know, changing it up for me, so different elements are uh, going to be viable. Uh, dislocation now deals poison damage instead of physical, so again, another elemental change there. Uh, limited immunity now begins its cooldown once the immunity effect ends. Now guys, this is a major change, and I'm really glad Blizzard done this. Command Skeletons. Now, in the previous patch for Command Skeletons, the Skeletons weren't that good, basically. I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, this PTR stage will be nice. This is feedback here. And uh, obviously, you know, they've changed it now, which is a great, great thing. So feedback, guys, works. It's a good thing. So uh, Command Skeletons basically were weak as fuck. Okay, they were pretty weak. They didn't really do that much damage, and, you know, they weren't that great. But now, look at this. Command Skeletons. The active ability for this skill now lasts until the target dies, or you change the target of your command. Uh, skeletons summoned after issuing the command will also attack the target. Okay, so if they die, they'll just get back up. And So basically, it's, it's a kill order. You, you tell you guys to kill that target, and then they're going to stay on that target and keep that active effect as well. So, you know, for instance, there's uh, the Life Leech rune as well on the, uh, on the oh, Command Skull. So it can keep your healing up constantly, you know what I mean, all the time. So this is a major, major change. I'm really, really happy. And also, there's some new legendaries as well that makes uh, Skeletons hit like an absolute truck, which I'll be testing live today on Twitch. going to play some PTR. Excellent. Okay guys, so Necromancer passes, a few changes here. Blood is Power has been completely redesigned. After communically uh, losing 100% of your maximum life, all ability cooldowns are reduced by 20%. This effect cannot reduce an ability's cooldown more than once for each time that ability is used. So they changed this, man, because it was a bit too strong. <laughs> it was a bit too strong, basically, and they had to change it. So that's, that, that seems fair. I'll have to test this today. Uh, final service. Uh, when this passive successfully prevents death, the Necromancer is immune to incoming damage for 4 seconds, so basically self res. Uh, this passive does not require active pets to prevent death to grant immunity. Instead of immediately consuming all pets, this passive will grant 10% health per pet into Necromancer is at 100% health. That's actually quite a cool change actually, I quite like that man, so you get that gradual health man, it's pretty cool. Okay, little uh, change to wizard skills here, mirror image, uh, Simacron. Is now been, this rune is now being renamed to Hard Light, because basically there's one with the ties with the necklace that's renamed it. Uh, bug fixes, uh, Decay Golem. Uh, fix the bug where the visuals for Army of the Dead on Conventional Warfare were not being played, so they fixed that as well. And of course, guys, all the new legendary gear. I did a previous video for all this stuff, and I show all the transmogs and absolutely everything. So if you want to go see all this new gear, please go to that other video. I'll, I'll put a description in the chat. It's right in the description of this video, so you guys can uh, go over there and have a look at it. Because I go by one by one, sure the transport, the effects is really, really cool. But also, I'll put the patch notes in the description of this video. Okay? Not to repeat ourselves too many times. Okay then, so, uh, classic guys. Uh, it's now called, so the Bone Pet set is now called the, the Bones of Rathma. Okay, four set bonus has changed. Uh, you gain 1% damage reduction for five seconds each time your pets deal damage, up to 50 stacks. Lovely. Okay, the blood set is now called Traugr's Avatar. Six set bonus has changed. Uh, spending 10% life grants you a stack of blocker side up to 50 times. Each stack of blocker side increases the damage of life spending attacks by 200% and also increases the life you lose by 10%. Using a skill to heal will consume a stack and heal for an additional 300%. Healing from skills consumes one stack regardless of how many targets are hit. Command Skeletons, Dark Mending, and Land of the Dead. Land of Plenty no longer consumes stacks or, is, or receive increased healing. Oh, they nerfed it. <laughs> yeah, I thought they would. Okay, guys, the Saint set is now called the Grace of Inaris. Uh, six set bonus has changed. Uh, bone Armor, I love this set. It looks so cool. Uh, bone Armor also activates a Bone Tornado damage nearby enemies for 375 weapon damage per second. Uh, enemies hit by the tornado take 850 additional damage for the Necromancer abilities and minions. The only change they've done there is it says here as physical. That's now changed. It's not physical anymore. So basically, it's opened this build up to a lot more options now. That's a good change. Very good change. 
Okay, uh, the melee set, guys. Okay, the Pestilence of Master Stroud, two set bonus. Uh, each corpse you consume fires. It used to be corpse lance. Now it's a corpse fragment at a nearby enemy, dealing 800% weapon damage. Now, I'm not tested this yet. Instead of corpse lance, it's now a corpse fragment. I need to go to PTR and test this out, but that's what's changed with there. Uh, Jorion's Arm, this is the new weapon and shield. Looks really, really cool. Watch, check, check out that previous video, guys. I'll do the trainers box. Two set bonus. Uh, Army of the Dead gains the effect of unconventional warfare rune. <laughs> That's crazy. And uh, bug fixes. Fix an issue causing the final accuracies to roll only the lowest possible damage rate. So they fixed that as well. Good, good, good. Uh, adventure mode. Some changes here as well. Set dungeons. Uh, the set dungeon monsters are now tracked on the mini map when the dungeon begins. Fantastic. Uh, all basic tier monster kill requirements have been lowered. Good. I'm not being funny, man, but set dungeons. Uh, you know what I mean? For me personally, I don't enjoy them that much. Uh, bug fixes. Uh, fix an issue where sometimes prevented players from completing the clear, the forgotten world bounty. And a PTR only chained against meme that is basically a vendor. Uh, players can exchange blood shards with this vendor for bags containing gear. And it's gone from 500 blood shards to 200. You might just make it one blood shard, guys. I don't know why it's 200. Um, players will now be able to purchase bags containing the new legendary items, additional to the previous bags containing the set items. So basically, if you've got PTR access, if you sign up for the beta and you got him, uh, Blizzard are invite, inviting new people all the time now on each uh, patch cycle. Um, basically, you can just go to this vendor, find a few blood shards, right click the bags, and all the new legendaries will drop for. The Necromancer. And there you go guys, that's all the information I've got so far. There's still a lot of people asking when the Necro is going to be released. It could be Season 11. Because um, when you look into the PTR and you start a new seasonal character, it comes up with a window and it actually shows the Necro there with a starting set. So it could be Season 11. And remember, we haven't seen any patch notes or anything for any of the other classes. So maybe Blizzard are really trying to push for the Necro to come out in Season 11. Maybe they can extend the duration of Season 11. The general um, seasons at the moment is 10 weeks. You know, it's 10 weeks. I haven't seen anything new for any of these seasons yet. So maybe it will be about the Necro and then Season 11 starts there's going to be Necro patch, man. Boom. Who knows, man? Who knows? No official word just yet. And there you go, guys. So that is now the end of the video. Once again, for thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun in Sanctuary, guys. And take care. Lovely.